Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm just going to be showing you briefly, just quickly, how I dust my ends or how I trim my hair or how I get rid of split ends or whatever you want to call it. My hair is long overdue for a trim. Um, it's only because I've had my hair in protective style. I've been neglecting the trimming part, but I did notice some quite bad split ends the other day. Not as bad as I usually get them because I'm sealing my hair with hair grease. However, they are very undesirable and I do not wish to have them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I'm being, I've been dealing with. I can't speak what I've been dealing with right now. So this is the current state of affairs. My hair's pretty bunched up at the roots because I've been putting it up at, in a pineapple at night, but that is another video. This is an old wash and go. Um, I've had it for maybe about four days now, five days maybe. Let's just put it this way, my hair is due for a wash. I've got a nice bit of length going on and I don't want to take off too much. This is what I've got going on. So it's, my bra is here, so it's just, just below bra strap length. Ooh. I don't really want to be doing too much of my hair without moisture, so going to add in my moisture as I usually do. If you're not familiar with this one guy, I featured it in many of my videos, so I will be using that again today. So what I'm going to do guys is section my hair. I like to trim my hair in an old wash and go. Reason being is because I like to see what length I'm going to have with curly hair once I've trimmed the ends. Also, when my hair is in an old wash and go, the ends of my hair, rather than being nice and clumped and curled together, they start to fray. And the parts that start to fray are the parts that are pretty much split. The parts that are healthy, they still clump together. So let me give you an example. So I've got some separation and fraying hair, if you can see that. Let me show you a part that's still curled. Let's see. This part, still nicely curled to the ends. Not many split ends on that part. Still frizzy, but obviously it's old wash and go, but I think you get the drift. Just to get rid of this poofiness at my roots as well, I'm just gonna moisturize my hair. Now I don't want my hair super wet, I just want it slightly damp. So when I start getting a bit of movement in my hair, I know the stiffness is going. Well, obviously. And I usually get the stiffness at the back of my hair because when my hair's up in a pineapple, that's the way my hair rests. So I'm gonna section my hair as I would do if I was going to um, style my hair, I suppose. Right, so what I do, guys, I'm not gonna take scissors and just cut like that. I'm going to check my ends. So this is why I don't dust my hair very often, only because, for one, once it's dusted, it usually doesn't need it for a while. But for two, it is a bit time consuming. I'm not gonna do strand curl by curl. I'm just gonna see what needs to be uh, dusted. Okay, so this one looks all right. So I've made a little section at the back. I'm gonna split that in half again. And if you're wondering, guys, I don't trim the nape of my hair only because it's growing nicely and that tends to stay away from any damage. I can feel some fairy knots and tangles. I can tell which parts I've cut because the ends now feel smooth. So if I can't necessarily see what parts need to be cut, I run my fingers down and I can feel some knots. So this part that's curly, I'm just gonna cut all that bit off there. Okay. So I've just cut that curl off. So I'm pulling down the end so the hair's all lined up. Okay, so all I'm gonna do guys is literally just cut off the curls at the end. Okay, so I have something blunt like that. Still got my length. But to be honest, I'm not too fussed about length. I just want the, the health. So when my hair tangles like this, that means that I've got dry split ends. And the reason why I say that is because when my hair is moisturized and not split, my I can slip my fingers through. So when I get this, that means that some hair has got to go. So you can see I've got a bit of a tangle at the end there. It looks very frizzy. So when I wet the ends now, that shows me what parts clump and what parts go stray. Okay, so you can see all these little wiggly bits here. They don't want to clump. 
because they are split. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to carry on. If you are wondering, how do I know my hair is due for a cut? As I mentioned, my ends look frizzy. They start to frizz, they start to tangle into themselves and they don't separate smoothly. And also the curls don't clump together. So those are my indications. And, and I have fairy knots. If you're not familiar what fairy knots are, because I know some people have not heard of fairy knots, little knots at the end of your hair. If I get many of those, then I know it's time for a cut. There you go. So I'm cutting the curls, so I'm ended up a little paintbrush effect. So now my curls, now I can form a nice little ringlet. Oh, this is nice and ready. I literally can feel the difference. For that whole section of my head, this is all I've cut off, believe it or not. So on this side guys you can see my ends have been cut they feel so much better it just feels so much lighter guys so i know this side is dry right now i'm going to spritz it see i've got these long stringy bits hanging you get long stringy bits like this you know it's time for a cut see it wasn't even yeah <laughs> it wasn't even at my roots it was literally a piece of hair that was attached to another piece i never trim my ends like a whole inch i never trim my hair like that i just don't see any point because my hair beyond the part that i'm trimming is usually healthy so i just do not see any point in that so i do not trim off the same amount that is suggested i just trim off what my hair needs so right now i'm not right here some fluff Okay, so guys, I'm just gonna quickly finish off the rest of this off camera and then I will come back to you when my hair is fully trimmed and then I'll show you what I do next. So guys, there you go. I've trimmed both sides of my hair or dusted or however you wanna say it. My hair feels a lot fluffier, a lot lighter. Still got my length. So that is it guys. That's how I dust my ends. I'm not finished yet. So all I'm gonna do now, just to seal my ends because they're exposed now. I'm gonna seal them with my olive oil, nourishing exotic scalp oil. And it smells lovely, it's from ORS. I'm literally just gonna seal my ends. So I'm not gonna do this with hair grease, just because I'm gonna be washing my hair soon. And that is it guys. Let me just quickly show you the back to see if I've lost length at the back. So now it's just above, just above my bra strap. So I've cut off about that much on each part. So yes, there you go. Haven't lost too much length. Got nice volume, got nice fluffy hair. There you go. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.